Hello there everybody, Technojock here with a brand new game for the channel. This is Wylands. This is a game that Tyrannosaurus Vex put me on to. He's a friend of ours from the Vauxhall Squad and he just put up a video the other day. This is brand new game, just released on Early Access. It's on Steam at the moment with some money off so it's just a here over 10 quid just now. So if you fancy getting your hands on it, be quick and maybe you can make a saving. So I have just cr I've just uh, loaded the game up just now, haven't done anything other than then um, a couple of audio settings have not gone into the game yet. So let's have a quick look and see what is available to us at the moment. So there's an exploration mode. Um, so it's open world, crafting, surviving, that kind of thing. And a creative mode. But we're going to stick with exploration at the moment and click on play. And uh, we've got a character creation screen which I shall not bore you with. So I think I'll do this and then I shall see you in game. Here we go then, we are in game and the environmental sounds are perhaps a little on the loud side. Let's uh, set him this audio. Let's just turn it down a little bit, shall we? That's a bit better. So, um, here we are. Um, normal WESD keys to move, cool, mouse is okay just now. And we've got a little dot of a mouse pointer, okay. So green curved seashell, we can pick it up. I don't think we really need that. Grass. Learn more about the character panel at the Codex F1. Okay. So inventory is tab. We can stack items with our left control. Uh, we can search for things. We can inspect things, equip or place into a dynamic slot. And we can drag things to our character or to the action bar. Cool. Right, so I have got grass in my hand. Um, we'll pick up some sticks and stuff. Shrubs, sticks, seashells. So yeah, we can run around and pick stuff up like that. That is some flax. Um, cool. Looks alright here, doesn't it? Looks rather nice. Now, like I say, I did have a quick watch of Vex's video, um, and it looked entertaining. We can eat them. Munchy, munchy, munchy. Cool. I would imagine that does something with our health. Right. So, um, and he he did a good inve investigate of his island and discovered... Um, it is populated with some nasty things as well as some nice things. Oh, there's a floating thing. Vex saw one of those as well. Yeah, once you get into the sort of heartlands, there appears to be um, a lot more in the way of nasty looking creatures. That looks like a piggy wig. Yeah, some sort of boar there. They are not... They are not aggressive. Unless provoked, I would imagine. Um, but there are things like bears and wolves. Um, in fact, I think that's a wolf over there. Just over there, so I'm going to steer clear to that. And um, there's some other stuff as well. Um, pumas or something like that. So um, I'm just going to grab some stuff at the moment. And then I think once we've got a little bit we should have a look at our crafting menu. But um, I want to kind of keep my back to the water a little bit. Um, oh, carrots. Mm. Um, and that way we can only be really attacked on one side. It does limit our ability to run away from things, but hopefully we'll have less things sneaking up behind us or something. So crafting. We can craft grass rope, unlit campfire, and wooden pieces. Ooh, exciting stuff. I would quite like to make some um, some fire for night time because I noticed in Vex's video as well, it got very, very dark. Um, I can right click to make rope. Okay, that opens up our ability to uh, make some other stuff there. So the rope opens up a stick bow. Cool. Um, arrows, we need to stick resin, flint and feathers. Okay, we don't have any of that stuff, so a bow is largely pointless. But an axe would be good. A hammer? What does a hammer do for us? 
stone mace might be good for protection and a stone pick I think I got a stone axe which I shall make I need some more stone don't I um, let's have some stone cool um, what did I make I made the axe right okay so if I put that there That'll be two, fine. Let me shift that over. Inventory's kind of weird that your key binding ones can be anywhere. So dr you don't drag them to a key binding here, you drag them to the key binding there, and then they can be scattered about your inventory anywhere you want them to be, um, which is interesting. So I've got my stone axe, and I think a stone pick would be sensible. Um, so that would be good. And then I think I want to make a stone knife would be probably quite good. Let's see what an axe does for us. We can pick up a lot of these sticks just by going around the beach. But let's see. Switch to that. Can we just chop down this bush? And maybe... Alright, so we've got a bunch of stuff. So we've got a load of sticks and grass from that. Okay. That's fine, so if we go up to like a bigger tree, I would imagine we get a lot more sticks and stuff. So young oak. Holding down the mouse button does stuff, cool. And what is that? Oh, we get a bunch of wooden pieces from that if we just, and sticks. So we're getting wooden pieces and sticks from that, cool. That's handy. Let's try out the pick then. Let's go up to one of these stones. Well, that's actually kind of doing the, the earth rather than the stone, isn't it? That's digging in the ground. Not necessarily sure we want to be doing that. What about this? This looks more like an anthill than anything else. No, that's just doing. That's just doing the ground, and I don't want to do the ground. I wonder if a hammer might be a better thing for that then. Let's see, what do we need for the hammer? We need more stone. So we can just pick them up off the beach. Looks like that sort of size of stone. Oh, no. Looks like that sort of size of stone is our limit. Uh, go back to hand. Yeah, we can't do anything with that. Okay. Let's try making that hammer then. Hammer, hammer, hammer. That's a mace. No, let's make the hammer. And go back to our inventory and put the hammer on our hotbar. That is hitting the stone. Does not appear to be doing very much. Maybe we need a better form of something, but that does not appear to be working. As I had hoped. Right, okay then. In which case, I think we need to find deposits of something to mine up. And then we might be able to do something a little bit more interesting. This looks interesting. What is this? What are we going to get? Oh, coal. Ooh, that's interesting. Right, okay. We want to grab the coal. That'll be good for making... Um, iron and metal weapons, I would imagine. Uh, there's some other deposit over here. Looks interesting. And see what that is. That is iron ore. So that is definitely worth getting. Uh oh. Well, it's good to know that he was really close to us but didn't actually attack. Um, so I think we might be able to get away with being a little bit closer to creatures. Oh, I thought it was a stone. <laughs> it's a bear. Ooh. Right, let's not aggravate him too much. But let's see what we can get from here. So that is... No, I don't want feathers. Flint. Yeah, I definitely want flint because that will give us the ability to... to um, uh oh He's not bothering with me either. Okay. Cool. 
Um, yeah, that'll give me the ability to start a fire. That's more flint. Pick up that. Cool. Flint will be handy. Um, let's see if we can find any more interesting stuff. I think I saw some sort of house over there, so we'll be back in a moment, I think. Right, I'm back after a little bit of a crash or two, um, and unfortunately I lost the footage that I was looking for, but I'll just go over it very quickly again, because um, I discovered something that you can do. If you chop up a tree and make it fall over, as you might expect, you can then chop that up a little bit more as well. Steer clear of it, and then do this again. And you'll notice I'm not getting any wood out of it at the moment, but... Just a moment. Here we go. We get a bunch of logs and bits of wood and stuff, and that... That's what I've been looking for. We've got resin. And resin means we can make a couple of things. But in particular, um, it means that we can make torches. And that's one of the things I've been really looking forward to making. Um, I have got a flint lighter that I made from some flint, um, which is easy enough. And I can make a burning torch just by making a torch and a lighter. So I have those things. You can make the torches. Burning torch. Where is it? It's normal. Ah, oh, there we go. Um, it's just stick, grass rope, and resin. So I can make a few of those, which will be good because I think it's going to be night time soon. Other thing I wanted to make just now was a knife of some description. So I want to make myself you know, in the crafting one because think I want some sort of weapon and yeah I think that might be okay to use a stone hammer or something but a knife might be helpful as well for maybe skinning an animal or something um, uh, oh oh that's interesting right, okay so if I use an axe go up to this corner for I can collect wood if I use a stone knife I can extract resin. Well that's that's something I want to do. I can use do more. Excellent. Excellent. So it's just gonna take a little while and I can get lots of resin from that. And that way I can make lots of arrows. And through the magic of editing you will not hear the massive coughing fit that I just had. So if I can make arrows arrows I need stick flint uh, feathers. Well, there's lots of... I'm pretty sure there's lots of bird's nests hanging around all over the place. Pretty sure I've seen them. Um, and they should have feathers in them, one would imagine. I'm not seeing an awful lot of feathers. Oh, was that one? Yes, it is. There's a feather. Excellent. Right. Well, we only need a few more of them, and we can start making arrows. Nice. And that way, we can protect ourselves at a distance. Yep. Two feathers, and that makes us ten stone arrows. Excellent. So in our inventory, we now have sixteen stone arrows, and I have the iron bow that I had from earlier on. So activate combat mode is hold down right mouse button. Um, if I took down some birds, then I could get more feathers. Getting a little bit further away from where I started, and the sun is definitely going down. So I really, really could do with setting up a base. And it does sound like this bird's close, doesn't it? I wonder if I could take down a bird for more feathers. That would be helpful. Helpful. Right, let's see if we can get something on the go here. Alright, it's definitely getting dark, and I've just made myself a bonfire out of a bunch of the logs that I got from that tree. Um, so, yeah, time to light a bonfire and have plenty of light around there.
Excellent. So don't stand too close. It says there I feel extremely hot and I've moved away a little bit. And I feel fine. Cool. That's good. Like that. Um, I've got a little thing of a hunger bar at the top, I think. So I think I might need to eat some food. Those are raspberries. I'm going to eat some of those. I'm not ready, ready to eat. sure how many of these I need to eat. Cool. And I'm hoping my bonfire makes it through the night. That'd be good. Oh my, that is unfortunate. I have been slain by a brown bear and it would appear that I can't respawn. And from the brief amount of looking I've done, I think that's by design. Um, they seem to have done something where you can't respawn. Which is... Worrying. And do that, do that, that, and we're going to go back as another techno jump and see if we get the same world. And that should be okay. Are we getting the same world? Can I go back and pick up my alternate being's body? Because that would be a shame, because I just kind of got the idea of a few things. I need to pick up some stuff. Feathers being a good thing to pick up. Yep. Hmm. This looks similar, but then... How similar is it? And we'll see... There's a piggy wig. Yeah, I didn't even see the bear. It was, a. Uh, Unfortunate, to say the least. Yeah, it must be the same, because look, here's where I was digging before. So I went over in this direction, so I should be able to find my corpse, hopefully. Is there... Oh, yeah. So here's my stuff. So I, I need to make a new... I need to make myself a new character each time. Well, at least it's not as bad as all that. Come on, chop, 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 pick up all this stuff. And... Not enough inventory space, I need to ditch some stuff. I need to be very, very wary about that bear. Yeah, he's coming down this way. I want to get out of the way. Head off down here. So I made a couple of... Um, discoveries, not least of which is how to sleep through the night, which was excellent. Hmm. Um, yep, and I discovered as well that I needed to warm up in the morning. I was hungry and I was cold in the morning, so I made myself a campfire. The uh, bonfire had burnt out during the night, but the thing that I discovered was I made a sleeping pad out of grass. Pretty easy to make. Uh, I imagine that you get some sort of uh, beds later on, but you just need grass, rope, and a knife. So the knife being very handy as a crafting tool. Um, and you place that in the ground, and then you can unpack it using this, which is the E button. Um, it does tell you, E, um, it's unpacked at the moment, so it's saying to E to pack it. And then you can lie on it, and you can uh, sleep or stand up which is very cool, and just enough space up here to be able to put it down and to be able to uh, do that. So that was good, um, because you can't... Oh, didn't mean to do that. Um, you can't do it on the ground, because it says it's not safe. Presumably you need some sort of uh, structure or safe haven, because just lying down on the ground and falling asleep is probably quick, e quick and easy way to get eaten by a bear, one would imagine. Um, but what I was wanting to do was try and figure out how I can oh, okay whoever finds this okay cool I want to make something like wonder if one of these um these things a wicker basket would be a good idea and I'll put one down here place it there yeah and then I'm 
going to say open that and I can put stuff in it. Excellent. So stuff from my inventory. I want to go place and container. So crafting stuff I want to put in there. I don't even know what that stuff's used for. Um, dirt I probably won't need. That is definitely crafting stuff. Um, the logs are definitely crafting stuff. Stones crafting. Iron ore definitely is as well. That's all handy stuff. Keeping that for the tools. Excellent. So I can clear up my inventory a little bit. And I'm going to mine up some stuff. So I've got a stone pick. I'll put that there and see what was in here again. Clay. Superb. Need lots of clay. So can mine that up and see how we do. But uh, I think I'm getting the idea of this, folks. So I think I'm going to call it a day for this episode. And uh, I shall hopefully see you the next time. After we've all had a funs. Bye-bye.